Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the one week anniversary of the launch of Verizon C-Band. We are in a very snowy and cold Scranton, Pennsylvania, and uh, we're gonna go to the number one rated pizza restaurant in all of Scranton. Uh, and to do that, I have to drive right across the valley of Scranton. Uh, so we're gonna uh, run into hopefully some C-Band and some millimeter wave. The millimeter wave might be hit or miss because it's not very widespread in Scranton. It's only like one small little area. Uh, but it'll definitely be interesting to test the network and see what it looks like uh, one week into having C-Band active. Before we get into the rest of the video, I thought it might be helpful to provide an overview of the Scranton area and where the test sites were. So we're starting up here in Clark Summit at the foot of the Pennsylvania Turnpike Northeast Extension. Then we head on down to Oak Street, which is right off US 11. Our next stop after that is Electric Street and this little park over here by the creek. And uh, I'm not really sure the name of the creek, but after that, we go on over to Little Pizza Heaven, where I said is the uh, highest rated pizza place in Scranton, then Myrtle Street, and then two test sites close together on Vine Street and one over on Colfax Avenue next to what appears to be a newly expanded hospital. Um, Interstate 81 is not far away from that location. Then we head more into the heart of downtown over by the Steamtown Mall and Boscovs. So hopefully this little overview provides a little bit more context for you as to where we were during these tests. Well, I gotta say, uh, so far through Clark Summit, I have not found any 5G or 5G ultra wideband. I'm just kind of letting the phone do its own thing, so we'll see what happens. All right, so our first sighting here is on Oak Street in Scranton, Pennsylvania. We have 5G ultra wideband. This is the iPhone 13 using a Qualcomm X60 modem. Let's see what it looks like on C-Band. Again, this is Oak Street in Scranton. Uh, these are not very impressive results, uh, so I'm guessing either they're still tuning the sites or the backhaul's not turned up on the site yet. The tower's behind us. All right, here's our next location. We are down here on uh, just off of Green Ridge Street, and we have full bars of 5G Ultra Wideband. And the cell tower is literally right to our left. In fact, we might be a little too close to see impressive results, but let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> yeah, we're a little too close to the site, I think, is what's happening here. Yeah, so either the site's not optimized, the backhaul's not turned up, or more than likely we're just too close to the site. Uh, Verizon is on the bottom rack there. We only have about a three minute drive left to go to get to a little pizza heaven, which is the number one rated pizzeria in Scranton. So we'll test it out there. In fact, we may be connected to the same cell site when we get there. All right, so we've made it to a little pizza heaven, the number one rated pizzeria in Scranton, and I'm really excited to try it. We're pretty much smack in the middle of the valley. Um, I mean, we could be a little closer to downtown, which is like closer to the highway. Uh, and I'm gonna go there after this. Now, interestingly, my phone has dropped the ultra wide connection, but my iPad is still holding on to it. So let's run a test on here. and we'll see what it gets. So far, the speeds I've gotten on ultra wideband, my pencil fell down, have not been very impressive. Uh, I think the highest I've seen was a little over 200, which I can accomplish that and more on LTE. Uh, so, you know, granted this network's only been live for a week, so I'm, I'm sure they're still tuning it and working on it. So I take all of this with a, huge grain of salt right now 
All right, so let's see what 5G low band is doing since my phone decided that it's the better connection for the moment. So yeah, let's see what happens. <clears throat> Yeah, that's that's not even worth finishing, <laughs> to be honest. So let's do a, a airplane mode on the phone here just to see if it'll kick it back to ultra wide. <laughs> My daughter's picture on the front there, that was funny. So, okay, so now the phone's decided that LTE is the only network that matters. So let's see what, uh, let's see what LTE is up to in this location. Yeah, nothing, nothing to write home about. So I am gonna run into a little pizza heaven and grab myself uh, some lunch, and then we'll continue our speed testing here in Scranton, PA. The number one rated pizza joint in all of Scranton. Okay, so we found some millimeter wave on the way to our destination. Uh, we are on Myrtle Street, uh, which just to zoom out and give you an idea of where exactly we are, we are on the way to the uh, spot I originally marked. There's a millimeter wave node up there and a millimeter wave node behind us. So both ends of this block have a millimeter wave node on them. So this is not C-band. Uh, but we'll run the test first on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and then we'll run it on my iPad Pro. <clears throat> so my iPad Pro picked up the signal from these millimeter wave nodes the whole way through, whereas my iPhone did not. I had a toggle airplane mode on my iPhone to get it to come up to the uh, signal for millimeter wave node, which seems to be really common. Uh, the iPhone seems to not prefer that signal as much, whereas the iPad, uh, the iPad was holding on to it very well. Uh, if I had to take a wild guess, I would say the size of the iPad and the size of the antenna allows it to hang on a little bit better than the iPhone does. <clears throat> so this is a 2021 iPad Pro 12.9 inch with a Qualcomm X55 modem. So, uh, you know, it's down, it's down on my dashboard just because it's really big and a little unruly. Uh, so again, this is Myrtle Street in Scranton. <clears throat> iPad 41 millisecond ping, 18 jitter, uh, 1,521 down and 103 up. On the iPhone, we've got one, uh, 2,500 down uh, and I just accidentally hit the button. Let's run it again. I was gonna run it again anyway. <clears throat> throat is always really dry in winter. Okay, so now it's not performing quite as well. Oh, there it goes. Not sure what happened there, but it seems to have lost some of the signal. <clears throat> That's really unfortunate performance. And now it seems to be stuck. Well, anyway, let me show you guys one really awesome thing about these tests. Uh, yeah, error failed to complete, no kidding. That test at 2.5 gigabits per second down used 3.2 gigs of data and 128 megabytes on the upload. That's incredible. And those pings should improve when Verizon moves to a standalone core uh, for 5G. Right now it kind of piggybacks off LTE in some cases. Uh, let's try a different server and see if that makes a difference. No, nope. we're gonna have to toggle airplane mode. I don't know if it's a glitch in iOS or what, but I, I feel like I'm constantly toggling airplane mode to get the best modem performance. <clears throat> And now it's just not going to pick it up at all. Let's try that again. Yeah, so if I had to pin it down, so far the network performance in Scranton has been choppy, uh, to put it mildly. Lots of airplane mode resets, lots of in and out on C-band and ultra-wideband. <coughs> Now keep in mind, you know, one thing to consider with these is that this test is being done through glass. So that's gonna degrade the signal a little bit. That upload, man, that upload, I wish I had at home. 
That's awesome performance. Let's try one more test here. <clears throat> See, I, I would say the node is, uh, the node is probably a couple hundred feet in front of us. So maybe we're too close. Maybe we're too close to the node uh, to get the full performance. But still, I mean, nobody on Earth using cellular could ever complain about 800 down. I mean, you just can't. By the way, the improved audio on today's video is brought to you by my friend Arthur's channel. It's called The Dash. I'll put a link to the channel up in the corner and down in the description. Uh, he bought me a microphone kit for the GoPro I'm using today, so make sure to go subscribe to his channel and check it out. Okay, so we're on Vine Street in Scranton. I'll zoom out so you can see exactly where we are in relation to the whole valley. Uh, let me change the orientation a little bit there. Yeah, so Clark Summit is where we started uh, looking for C-band. And now we're down here. So another millimeter wave node is right in front of us at the end of the block. I don't know why, but the iPhone's only getting one bar. Let's, uh, I will, I'll do another airplane mode reset in a minute, but uh, let's see what we get with one bar and the node at the end of the street. So even with one bar, we're still pulling almost a gig. It's really impressive, but as I was driving between the test locations, the signal kept dropping and cutting in and out. Um, I don't know if it's just an iPhone issue or the, the network of nodes isn't fully tuned, like I was saying earlier. Um, so this is millimeter wave. This is not C-band, but nonetheless, it's still impressive. Let's toggle in airplane mode. Uh, and while that's resetting, I'll run a test on my iPad as well. Pardon the shakiness while I get it into place here. <clears throat> this, I love this iPad, man, but it's so big. All right, so there's the iPad. It's also getting one bar. And let's run a test on that. So again, older generation Qualcomm X55. But Again, much bigger antenna setup on this device, I would, I would assume, is what is helping it out. So yeah, 1.575 gigs on the download there. 40, second, uh, 40 millisecond ping, 19 millisecond jitter. Getting 20 on the upload, which is worse than the phone was getting. But again, the phone's up in the window, so that might help it out a little bit. Yeah, crazy impressive download speeds. And now that the iPhone has uh, factory reset its, uh, or uh, now that the iPhone has airplane mode reset itself, let's see what we can get out of that. Still pulling just under a gig. Well, just under 900. And let's see if the upload is any better. 73 on the up. So yeah, the upload's better than the iPad, but again, it's up in the window, so. There's this brand new looking or expanded looking medical center up here. I'm not even gonna try, I'll probably butcher the name, but there's a millimeter wave node on the telephone pole right here. So let's, uh, we're getting two bars again for some reason, but maybe I'm just too close to the node again, I don't know. But let's see what we get with two bars facing the node a couple hundred feet away at most. Uh, again, just under 900 mil, uh, megabits per second down. We got a 25 millisecond ping that time, 3.9 millisecond jitter. And 50 on the upload. Not even gonna bother with the iPad at this location because I, I, I just know it's gonna pull better speeds. Uh, it's just bigger antenna, I think. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Another millimeter wave node in downtown, uh, well, downtown-ish Scranton, PA. And okay, we are on Lackawanna Avenue, right across the street from the Steamtown Mall and Boscovs. Uh, there it is, the marketplace at Steamtown. And this area should have C-band right now. I don't remember there being any millimeter wave nodes on this section of the street. And I don't see them on the coverage map either. I had an older version of the coverage map uh, pulled up on my cell phone. Uh, so this is performing like C-band. 
at least for this area. Hitting about 300 down. And we'll see what the uplink does. I gotta say, they uh, they are probably still optimizing everything here because the performance on C-Band is just meh. I mean, it's nothing that makes me go, oh my god, this is amazing. So 336 down, 26.2 up, 38 millisecond ping, 1.9 milliseconds on the jitter. So let's go over to the iPad. That was a result from a millimeter wave site. So let's see what we get. 49 on the ping, 2.6 millisecond jitter, and the iPad is going to pull a little bit less than the iPhone. Again, this is running last year's uh, Qualcomm X55 modem, so I don't ever expect the performance on it to be better. Uh, not sure what's going on with that upload. Seems like recently there might have been a bug in iOS that's causing upload issues with the speed test app, or maybe it's Verizon optimizing the network somehow. I, I don't know, but at least in my area in general, uh, the uploads have been rather puzzling lately.